This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got my co-host Robbie Hall back with me. Welcome back, Rob. Thank you, Kathy. Last time you and I worked together, we see each other all the time, but the last time you and I worked together was the Santa Claus Parade. Outside here, and it was cold. It was very cold. It was very cold, but better than the two years previous that we did in the pouring rain. So <laughs> it was. And you lost your voice. And I lost my voice for one of them too. So yeah, I really needed your help that year for sure. But this past year, wonderful, wonderful parade. We had a great time. We did it right outside the studio here on Brockville Street. So had a great time. We look forward to next year's too. But I'm going to throw the show over to you. Who have you got today? Welcome, Sean. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Robbie. How many years have you been playing for the Bears? So I played, I started when I was 16, and I played U18 for the Bears, and then I played Junior B in Westport, and this is my third year of Junior A. So I've been in the organization for five years, and uh, playing Junior A for three years. This is my third year. How many years have you been captain? I've been captain for two years. I got the, I had, I was the assistant captain at the for the first half of last year, and then uh, our old captain Bruce Goldhart got traded to Pembroke, and then I got the uh, the captain after that. How is the team doing this year? Um, I think we're doing really well this year. We're, uh, we're in third place right now, but we're uh, one win, so two points behind the second place team, and we got a game in hand. So we're hoping to uh, have a strong push, strong end to the season here and finish first or second. What, what do you see as some of the reason for the team success? This year? Um, yeah, I think uh, we have an older team. We have a lot of 20 year olds, a lot of 19 year olds this year. A lot of guys that uh, are returning from last year. And I think we have a lot of size and speed. So, uh, and we have really good coaches too that have been with us for a long time. So they know what, uh, they know what to expect from us and we know what to expect from them. Where did you play hockey going up? I'm from Almont, so I played, uh, I played for the Almont Thunder, and then until I was, uh, I think, until I was 9 or 10, and then I played for Silver 7 and the Ottawa Valley Titans, which is like higher level and like Stittsville area, stuff like that. Who is your favorite NSM player and why? Who? Um, I'm gonna have to say Sidney Crosby. He was uh, he was kind of the man when I was growing up watching hockey. It's my, a lot of kids might say McDavid nowadays, but Crosby's still my favorite. I understand you have been offered a college scholarship to play hockey. Congratulations! And can you tell us about that? Yes, thank you. Um, yeah, so at the end of last year, when the season was over last year, um, I had a couple different schools offer me a scholarship, but I chose to go to Mercyhurst University, which is in Erie, Pennsylvania. And uh, yeah, I've been down there to visit a few times, and I just really like the coaches, really like the feel of the school, and I'm super excited for next year. I want to thank you and your team for joining us on Monday night with the Special Olympics bowling team. What is your score and which team mate is leading the highest score? My score is not very good, unfortunately. I think I actually have one of the lowest. I was like just over 100. I think I got like 118. And, uh, the highest is our one of our goalies, Dawson Labrie, but there's rumors going around that he might have cheated a little bit. <laughs> so we're not, we're not. I'll say Dawson for now, but we're not too sure about that. And we love bowling; it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, we can keep going. Thank you, Sean, for joining us 
today and good luck to you and the team. Go Bears go. Thank you very much, Robbie. <laughs> Now you were talking about, we were talking about the success of the team this year, you're doing really well. I think a lot of it's got to do with the leadership and the fact that you're wearing the C on your, your jersey too. So can you speak a little bit about how did you get to be the captain? <clears throat> um, yeah, I just think I had a really good relationship with the coaches and uh, they just kind of like, they're back in the office a lot, but they also have a really good feel for what's going on in the dressing room. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of, we have four other assistant captains three of them are also 20 year olds so they just they're they're all awesome and they have like a re they have a really good relationship with the younger guys in our team and I think it's just kind of like set trying to set an example on the ice but then also off the ice like whatever we're doing absolutely and you know and I got to speak of that too I mean Robbie mentioned you go to the special olympic bowling on, on Monday nights yeah. you guys and help them out and uh, you're quite an inspiration to our athletes as well too but I see you at other events too I I, I got to speak of the small town breast cancer fundraiser you yep. guys uh, we had a fashion show and you guys led all the models <laughs> out and uh, escorted them out and they were all breast cancer and cancer survivors too so it was amazing to see you guys there some of the little guys that were there too you, you were um, uh, we were raffling off a, or auctioning off a, um, a Bears a party, party game. Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness! And there was quite a little uh, to do going on there yeah. too. So, uh, the Bears parties, birthday parties that you do too, you must have so much fun too. We ha yeah, um, yeah. The breast cancer event, like we love doing stuff like that. It's a lot of fun for us too. We haven't, uh, we haven't done the birthday party yet. I think it's, I think it's coming up in February because. The kid that won had a birthday, but it had already happened, his birthday. So I think it's coming up in February, and we're, it's going to be a ton of fun. We're super excited. Excellent, excellent. Now, you, you mentioned, too, about, about billets, too. You're, you're, you stay here in Smith Falls with, yeah. uh, with the, the family, uh, Chrissy's. <laughs> the Chrissy, Tompkins family. The Tompkins yeah. family. Chrissy Jones Chrissy's is one of our, yes, yeah. one of our uh, <laughs> Special Olympic athletes as well, too. So you stay with that family. Have you been staying with them since the beginning, too? Um, I moved there at the start of last year, so yeah, okay. for most of my time here, yeah. And Finn stays there as well, as yeah. well too, so. Yeah, he's, uh, he's my roommate. He's also, like, my best friend. Like, we do everything together, so yeah. it's, it's super fun. Yeah, and I mean, families like that, they're so committed, you know, they've been building yeah. for, for years and years, so that we got to thank the Billets for making this happen, yeah, too. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we wouldn't be able to have a team without Billets, so. And all of our billet families, I've met all of them. They're all awesome, so yeah. we're super lucky. How'd you get number 10? Did you get to choose that? Uh, no, not really. I was always number 9, actually, growing up. And then your first year when you're a rookie on the team, you don't really get to pick your number because all the older guys already have their numbers. And then my second year, I just kind of, like, stuck with it. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't want to change. Uh, I just wonder. I can't remember what Sidney Crosby's number, 87? 87, 87, yeah. 87, 87. 87, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't know whether it was the same as somebody that you got to choose, but... Yeah, you know. no, not really. Wow. Well, well, we thank you for everything you do for our community, and uh, what a great team we've got this year. Hey, Rob? Go, yes. go Bear, go. Go Bear, go. <laughs> We've got uh, today with us Captain Sean James from the St. Falls Bears. Thanks for joining us. Robbie, to you too. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Putting together your interview today.